morning. How are you? As a doctor and medical reporter for KOAT News, I've been keenly aware of the impact nutrition has on academic performance. Every day I try to bring these kinds of stories to life for viewers of HealthBeat on KOAT. But recently my daughter Jenny got involved in policy and economic issues around nutrition and education, and that really opened my eyes. For example, in New Mexico, nutrition for kids doesn't start at school. It starts here at the Roundhouse, where legislation was recently introduced for funding for breakfast, served after the school bell rings. This is Dolores Gonzalez Elementary School, and this is Principal Dora Ortiz. And what is this story again here? This is... What this is, is on, it, no decision on the breakfast bill. Uh, uh, the new governor's, uh, it says free meal would serve, be served in low-income elementary schools. Is that but good? it has not been signed. Good idea? Great idea. It was a bill I needed to sign. I've known through my work as a prosecutor just so many kids that Really, their one meal a day is the one that's given at school. One of the things that we changed in the law is the ability to um, have school serve breakfast during the first several minutes of class. This is a big deal. It's the country's first bill that allows hungry kids to eat during instructional time. But New Mexico is not a very rich state, and many schools, uh, a lot of families depend on the schools for breakfast and lunch. A lot of these schools, the parents are really hovering around the poverty lines. A lot of their little lives are pretty chaotic. Uh, many people think back to the days of Donna Reed when the family's sitting around the breakfast table and the father's reading the newspaper and then they run out the door to the school bus and that's just not the reality. Studies have shown that kids who eat breakfast at school have much better performance in terms of their memory, mathematical skills, reasoning skills, and their ability to comprehend information. We really need to make sure that we eat our breakfast so we can do well on our test, okay? We don't want our brain to get tired. If we don't have any breakfast, how are we going to have our brains working? If they don't have breakfast, they don't perform well, they don't feel well, and they don't do well in school. Before we had breakfast in the classroom, we kept extra things in the cabinets so when the kids came to us in the morning, we would sit them down here and give them a little bit of breakfast. They could go back into class and um, be able to think and function. In Roswell, Pecos Elementary School has seen firsthand how powerful breakfast after the bell can be. Dr. Barbara Ryan, principal at Pecos, believes that breakfast in the classroom helped turn her school's academic record around. The kids come on time, they want their breakfast. We have fewer tardies, fewer tummy aches in the morning because they're not hungry. But the breakfast in the classroom program, everybody gets breakfast. So we know our students are getting a good breakfast and a good lunch. And that's been real important to our students. And our grades have gone up, our scores have gone up. So it's a win-win it's a program. kitchen but you're still able to uh... well they're, they're multi-purpose rooms and we just work out of a corner of an office we do breakfast in the classroom at almost all of our schools and we do it the easiest way possible and it only takes about 10 minutes in the classroom between 10 and 12 minutes for the children to eat the teachers to get their classes going on our end as food service 
Uh, you can see it's a real simple deal. We take a, a tote that you can go to Walmart, Kmart, and get. You can see here how some of these classrooms are 18, some of them are 25, some are 20. I was surprised to learn how easy this could be. They don't even have a kitchen at Pecos, but they sure have a good, healthy breakfast for the kids. What do we got for breakfast? It's a burrito. It's an egg and potato burrito, homemade. They got potatoes, egg, cheese, green chili. So this here may be the only meal that these children get from the time they left here yesterday at noon. Is it, is it messy at all? No, none at all, none at all. Even when they have cereal, it's there. Kids are pretty well uh, clean about everything that they do. Yeah, now there's not too much to clean up at all. Do you have a printout of our, gra of our table? that we use for the legislature with school A. Say we have a school of, a high poverty school of about 100 kids. What we find is that when they serve breakfast before the bell, about 38% of those kids eat, and you end up with about $12,000 of revenue to the school. But when you serve it after the bell, about 90% of those kids eat, and the revenue looks more like $28,000. You're all out here, so. I know. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alexis, pasia, come here. I want to never grow up. How's breakfast? Good. It's good. Breakfast is lazy. It's a no-brainer. You know, it brings in dollars to the state. It 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 uh, disrupts nothing. Uh, it's not a burden on the schools, and it does so much for the students that it's just. I, I, ha I have a hard time seeing how anyone could stand in opposition. I'm not the only one who's excited about making sure kids get a good breakfast at school. I can tell you as a doctor and as a father, you want the kids having breakfast. It improves their performance in school, makes them more willing to play sports and be physically active, but most importantly, it helps build mental resilience. And it keeps them thin so they don't carry around the obesity that's become a scourge of our nation. So remember, you've got to have breakfast to be who you can be. Well, there you have it. This program offers you the chance to change the lives of so many children going into your school. Breakfast after the bell is the ultimate tool to improve grades, behavior, and health. What more could you ask for? I had a good breakfast this morning. Now, how about the kids at your school?